another awesome Minecraft video with MNL Crafts. Today we're going to be doing something a bit different than we usually do. We're going to be doing a plugin tutorial. What is a plugin, you say? Well, a plugin, if you've been watching my channel for since I did a long time ago, um, is a thing for a server. It's a basically it's kind of a mod, but it's at the same time not a mod. So we're going to be going over one of my favorite plugins, which is called Big Doors. It lets you turn pretty much anything into doors. There are three types of doors, which are the drawbridge, I forget that one's name, and the portacollis. I think that's how you pronounce it. So, let's get right on. First step is you're going to need a gold block. It's a bit expensive, but it's worth it. These doors can be any size you want. So I have this little kind of drawbridge, or not drawbridge, this thingy, or, and then this will be a door, and then this will be a door, and see they each have a gold block right next to the stone. This could be any material. I don't know about glass though. Glass and, glass and half slabs. Those are the weirdest I'd say to use. Glass half slabs and, no not stairs, stairs are fine, uh, and this stuff. The, those are the weirdest to use. But let's get right into it. First thing you want to do is you're going to type slash big doors. And you will be open with this menu, door menu, as you can see. First step is a new drawbridge, a new door, okay, that one's just called a door, and a new portacollis. Let's just start with a drawbridge. So, drawbridge creation process uh, initiated. You have 60 seconds to complete it. Type BD cancel to cancel. Start by giving the door slash drawbridge name. So let's do name door test underscore one. Okay. First thing you're going to do is, since this is a drawbridge, uh, I think that's the drawbridge right here. So yeah. So the door is facing down to this, you're going to right click, wait, sorry. You may have to define the region of the quarter. Please select the first end quarter of the first door. So you're going to do that. Unknown command. Not what I wanted. A step one through three. First point selected. Please select a second point. Okay. Take. Oh. Alright, there is a time limit. So let's just start that again. Okay. You know what? That is a bit more complicated, so let's just start with a basic door. Let's do that. Door. Name door test one. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to define the door. So that block and that block. Second point selected. Please select my first rotation point, aka. So now, this one, you're going to select the hinge, so I'm just going to do right there. Door selected. Now, this is where the gold block comes in handy. What you're going to do is you're going to place it for a door. You're going to place it underneath the door. For this thing, for a, whatever this is called, you're going to do it here, right underneath it. And for this, you're going to do it right beside it. I think you should also do it underneath it, but I'm just going to do it beside it. Right now, you just need a lever, then click the lever. Odd. Oh, I'm sorry. You need the you need the lever underneath the hinge of the door. Um. Well. Um, we'll be right back. Okay, we have figured things out, and my, this was a, like a super mistake everyone's going to make. There can be nothing in the door's path. So, you know, there was a bunch of grass over here. 
So look, if I place this block here, okay, that was weird. As you saw, the door opened like that. I don't know what the problem was with this door, but just make sure there's nothing that's way. It'll just act weird. But as you can see, yes, well, all you have to do is put this block underneath the hinge of this door. So you may know that we made the hinge here. So if I click this again, it'll start moving backwards. And as the door is in this position, you can walk through it. But after it makes this noise, you are no longer able to walk through it. You can also open it from this side. It will then come that way. This is great for if you have a base where you want like a secret entrance in factions or something. It's just really cool. So let's move on to the next door. Let's see we're on schedule? Good. This door will actually try the drawbridge next. What are we? Yeah. Let's do big doors. New drawbridge. Okay, name door, test two. There we go. This tall of blocks around which the entire door. There. Uh. There. Okay. Maybe I was right there. Maybe you do have to. There we go. Okay, so it's that block right there. As you can see, you have a very nice drawbridge. Just play around with the gold block placement. It will vary on each door. Just make sure it's on the bottom. I don't know if it will work on the top or the sides. Yeah, just, just play around with it. At the moment, it's that one. Yeah, so just play around with it, figure out what it is. Oh, and by the... yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like the sound of that door better than the drawbridge. Okay, now the portcullis. Hey, I learned some new door terms today. <laughs> new doors. Portcullis. Yep. Test three. Okay, now... Drawbridge, heads, or not drawbridge, portcullis, up, which is the ultimate thing for a castle base. Yeah, it is a bit glitchy with stairs, but you, you, it'll work. Just use a different block if you don't want the stairs like, if you don't want it like that. But I think it kind of looks cool that way. Or, cool. hey, hey, help me in. Oh, okay, thank you. It looks like teeth, almost, coming down on you. Yeah, so that is all, everybody. I hope you had fun watching and learned something new about this plugin. Uh, there was, yeah, my favorite plugin, probably favorite. That is definitely, that is definitely true. Yeah, I'm gonna stop now because I'm just rambling on. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Emma, out. Dang it. Okay, there.